Hey, what's up, everybody? So we're back in Slicer, going to be soon to be known as Prusa Slicer. Uh, and we got this awesome orc by Vedran here. Uh, very detailed, very awesome, very cool. But, uh, you know, we're going to do some edits to it. Not really editing, but we're going to do some things to it. Adding some modifier meshes and doing some fancy things to it. And we're going to want to save that progress. And we're going to show you do that because I have been informed that if you go to File and you go Export and you go Export Plate as AMF, that's going to be gone. They're only going to support Save Project and Save Project As, which will export as a 3MF file going forward. So we need to make sure you're saving as a 3MF. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and take a look at this orc. And we can see at the bottom here that Vedran didn't make it perfectly flat. And uh, Vedran, we've talked about this. No, <laughs> uh, But yeah, it's not perfectly flat. So um, at 0 0.02 millimeters on the first layer, it's, it's you know, printing in two different things. So here's my bottom layer and here's my uh, bridge infill here because it's trying to do this gap in the middle air and this is an overhang. So it's not going to print correctly. So what do we need to do? Uh, looking at this print, I'm going to put a tiny support here. Uh, it's not necessary. I'm going to do it anyway to show you how this works. And I'm going to use a cut tool. I'm going to cut the bottom of this thing off like a little bit so that way it's perfectly flat. So let's go back to the main page and let's go ahead and use the cut tool. So all we got to do with the cut tool is go to Z and we'll go to Z 0 0.2 and we will perform the cut. We need to only keep the upper half and perform cut and that will make a nice uniform base. That way it's no longer uh, going to be floating. So there's our nice flat base. And then we'll also add a support for no reason but to add a support. So right click, add a support enforcer, we'll add a box. We'll drag this thing around here and three. Nope. Nope. Two. Nope. Five. Five is the one. So bring that in right about there. And let's grab the grabby tools. Let's move that support enforcer here. Boom. That is there. And we got to make sure to go to print settings and make sure we're set correctly. So yes, if we're using support enforcer, we have to make sure generate support materials on. We have to make sure auto-generated support is off. And um, yeah, so we have our support enforcer. That's going to put a support there, even though it's not necessary. I'm just doing this to show you how will this function works. So we've got the print. We did our cut. We did our thing. We're going to print it. And we find out we didn't really need the support, but we did need the cut. We can then go to File, Save Project As, and we'll go to Desktop. And Safrong the Orc is perfectly fine. We'll hit Save. It's going to take a second because it's going to be a big file. Usually these things end up being like 30 to 60 megabytes each. Uh, and of course, I picked one of the more detailed prints. So there we go. Um, you know, here's our thing and we delete it. And oh my gosh, I want to go back to where it was. Well, that's easy. We'll go to file. We'll go to open project. We'll go to desktop. We'll open up to Frong the Orc. And we'll open that. It'll take a second to process this because again, it is a heavy file. It keeps the STL keeps all the data that we did, all the changes, so that way uh, we don't have to redo them. So now we can be like, oh, you know what? I wanted it smaller. So we'll go to the little shrinky dinky tool and grab one of these and it keeps our same edits and it's smaller. And we can hit save and slice and we can keep doing all kinds of stuff. We try different settings on it and whatever. But that is how you use uh, the project files in uh, Slicer or soon to be known as Prusa Slicer. Uh, if you have any more questions on it, drop in the comments. Again, this is just super quick video on that because I've been informed that AMF files are no longer to be supported. So this is the new correct way of saving your projects. And they're actually called projects. So uh, also I'll post a link in the description for Veterans Zafrong the Orc awesomeness right here. So yeah, I will uh, be back again soon with more Slicer videos. So stay tuned and stay out of trouble to then, all right?